Hello, I Alpha. Good afternoon and good afternoon to everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our Jelly Talk Season 2. So, ayan. Uh, we're now here in our um newest episode, Miss Bernadette. So, ayan. Kamusta ka naman, Miss Bernadette? Welcome again to our podcast. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I'm very excited. And uh, this is my first time to uh, interview a student. This is our Jelly mm-hmm. Talks podcast Season 2. That's why I'm very excited. And I'm looking forward um, that uh, we will be able to hear a lot of um, stories or experiences that we can share to our viewers and to uh, future students, to interested applicants. No? And I, definitely they will learn, they will really learn a lot uh, after hearing the details. Yes. Ngayong hapon. Yes, yeah. yes Tama. So kasi nung last, from previous episodes natin, ma'am, we're able to discuss some different topics din eh. Like, um, hmm. ano yung, uh, immersing yourself in learning Japanese and also why did you fell in love in Japan? So ngayon, different topic naman ma'am no? for our uh, new episode. So ito is also will help our viewers then na para at least mas mag uh, interested sila in um, like not only in learning Nihongo but also about Japan no? for those na talagang gustong mag aspiring na makapag study din doon. Yes, actually our our objective why we're doing this not just to encourage um Filipinos or interested applicants to enroll to our programs or services but to create an awareness and to uh, give them the important details that they should know most especially if they have this goal or dream in yes. mind. Mm-hmm. So Andito lang naman tayo to, of course, assist them mm-hmm. and to help them all throughout the process, no? So, yun naman yung purpose uh, or objective ni Jellyfish to give insights, no? Uh, about different topics rin, no? And about about Japan, about the application process, most especially about the study in Japan program. That's why uh, we uh, really uh, are looking forward, no? Sa mga students or sa mga guest speakers natin na makapag-share ng naging journey, uh, naging experience nila or naging process nila, no? From here uh, sa Philippines, of course, after nun, uh, sa Japan naman. And then yung naging life nila after yes. finish mm-hmm. the language program. So, so nakakatawa uh, siyang ano, malaman din na yes? meron tayong mga guests former, from our former students, di ba? Okay, na pal- really, ayan, okay. Uh, it's really nice na we're hear stories from them, na from their beginning, no? From their humble beginnings and then from the start. And now, um, in realization na yung talagang nandun na sila mm-hmm. si Japan and working na. So, ayun. Uh, yung topic naman natin ngayon, Ms. Bernadette, diba something na relata- relatable about the dreams in mm-hmm. Japan. So, which is very, ano din sa guest speaker natin right now. I think, um, very, ano siya, um, connected talaga sa ating guest speaker. So, yes. Yeah. Kasi lahat ng mga applicants natin or naging students na, nag-start sila sa parang dream nila mm-hmm. uh, first or sa goal nila. And definitely, before uh, sila nagkaroon ng ganung dream or goal, meron silang, kumbaga, naging mga reasons and sariling process okay. din. No? Kung bakit uh, nauwi sa gusto nilang mag-aral ng language and gusto nilang makapunta sa Japan. So, maybe because of their different interests then like sa manga, sa anime, mm-hmm. sa J-pop, sa culture, sa food. So, yun yung kailangan or gusto nating malaman ngayon na um, like uh, sa guest natin, no? Or or sa yes. students na uh-huh. interview natin. Ano yung naging reasons niya? Paano siya uh, nag-decide? At ano yung naging process and journey niya? No? Um, bakit siya nag-aral ng language and eventually nakapag-work after uh-huh. the program? So, um, yeah. ano ba yung topic natin ngayong hapon, um, Alpha? Ano yung discuss natin ngayong hapon? So, yung topic natin, Miss <laughs> Bernard, is how to fill out your dreams to study in Japan. Which is yung guest speaker natin ngayon. I've actually met her in Batangas. No? I, I yeah. still remember before, nung first time ko siyang mamit kasi nagkaroon ng caravan si Jellyfish sa Batangas, SM. Mm-hmm. So yun, and um, I met her and she's, uh, alam ko siya yung huli kong inassess na talaga ang haba. <laughs> Usap na. Yes. Nakakatawa kasi she's uh, really, uh, 
nung first time na meet ko siya, talagang nagkaroon na siya ng interest talaga agad na mag-pursue ng uh, dream goal mm-hmm. sa Japan. Pero syempre, mas malalaman natin yan later, Miss Bernadette, kung ano pa, ano, ano pa ba yung mga ano, niya, naging inspiration niya. No? That's why paano mm-hmm. na siya na nakapag-start din ng application and all. So, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. yes she started um, nung uh, nag-apply siya sa atin is April Bash 2019 and she's from, uh, I mean, she applied in Kyoto Minsai, no? one of our uh, one of uh, partners. partner language schools din po. So, ayun. Without further ado, so let's introduce our guest speaker. Yes! Yes, so si Miss Crystal Ramos. Hello, Miss Crystal. Crystal, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, Miss Bernadette and Miss Alpha. Yes, hello. Thank you for inviting me. inviting me here. No, thank you for uh, your so afternoon with us. I know you are very busy. Thank you. Um, very busy with everything, but uh, you actually said yes to to yes. Alpha um, to be one of our guest speakers for our season mm-hmm. two Jelly Talk. So thank you, thank you so much. Yes, thank so, you for um, still supporting Jellyfish until now, <laughs> even so, after your, your the effort, pa rin sa amin, supportive, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, no, thank you actually yeah. for helping me to be yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, okay. But before we ask questions and before we start, I would like to ask Miss Crystal, kamusta? Like in general, kamusta po tayo? In general, I'm so happy to be here in Japan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Simple as that. So, um, it's a new life here. And um, it's a very um, self-fulfilling. Yung mm. mag-isa ka lang. Even though you live independently, hindi ko kasama yung family ko. But still, I'm happy to be alone here in Japan. Probably because um, maganda yung ano dito. <laughs> maganda yung life, yung life dito, yung lifestyle in a way. Even though it's costly, but it's still nice to be here actually and I'm happy here. <laughs> well, good to know po that you're very happy <laughs> and um, living independently but you've mentioned that you're independent you're alone no? first time you po ba nala parang masolo or maging solo maging away from your it family is. It ah, is. It's okay. my first time to be to live independently I mean mm-hmm. it's really how can I say um, risk taking Mm-hmm. Talaga, the yes. point of my life and like you know I really do um, step out to my comfort zone ever since I came here like talagang, alam mo yun, all all of the things that I need to do is by my own I know mm-hmm. yun. so kailangan talaga na ako lahat yun. but still um, it, it's nice kasi ang dami ko natutunan Yeah. Yes, and actually yeah, that's one thing time. that we always um, inform our applicants that uh, you need to be ready in all aspects because you need to live independently, mm-hmm. you need to be responsible, you need to do exactly. everything on your own. So, um, talagang maraming struggles along the way, but definitely mm-hmm. it will be worth it once naging okay na and successful. No? So, good to know, Miss Ramos, that you are very happy and you're doing fine in Japan. So, Alpha Yes, actually, Miss Rama, so uh, we're able to parang prepare some questions to you. <laughs> so, parang okay. you needed to talk about your, right. how you able to establish your dreams to study mm-hmm. in Japan. So, ayan. So, first question lang muna tayo, Miss ano, Miss uh, Crystal. So, uh, bakit, ano, uh, why did you choose Japan first? Bakit Japan? Why not? All right. <laughs> Why Japan of all the countries, right? Yeah, yeah. sobrang dami ba sa of... diba? Yeah, why? I, I mean, why? <laughs> I, I'm really amazed to why, why Japan because it's first of all, it's not an English-speaking country. Yes. To be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then, um, I, I mean, um, since, uh, you know, Japan is such a beautiful country. I mean, kung tatanungin ng mga tourists, yung mga gusto magpunta dito, it's really nice. Why Japan? Okay. So, it will be starting when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I was in high school. 
Bakit Japan? Ever since high school, I was really fascinated in Japan. Talaga. Oh. <laughs> probably because probably because of my classmates. My classmates are like anime lovers. Mm-hmm. All of them. Like they they watch anime. Always pag-uusapan yung anime sa lunch break. Alam mo yun? Mm-hmm. And then um they always drew anime. And then pag-uusapan nila si ganito, si ganyan na anime. Alam mo yung mga ganyan. Yes. So I'm really, it's a big influence for me. And then, however, in my case, it's not the anime, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not the <Yeah>. anime. <laughs> it's manga. Manga. Ah, talaga. Okay. I see. I was really fond of reading manga online. Ooh. Uh, of course, yung mga high school life, yung mga team mm-hmm. is high school life romance, ganyan. And then, those comic strips in manga did inspire me what what it feels like. I started to wonder how it feels like to live in Japan. Like, mm-hmm. ang ganda-ganda nung mga nagiging drawing din mm-hmm. sa manga. Like, oh wow, is this Japan? I was like that. So, ayun. And then, lalo nang nag, ano siya, lalo na siyang nag, um, talagang nag-fascinate me is when I started listening to J-pop music. Oh, but, okay. Yes. <laughs> but the J-pop music is not the one like the OST or the official soundtrack mm-hmm. of anime. No, it's not. Umbaga yung mga J-pop artists like Utada Hikaru, Nami Amuro, Ayumi Hamasaki. Yeah. Yan. So, Arashi. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> I remember you so mentioned mo na your ano um i mean nahirapan ka gusto mo mabasa yung manga no <laughs> naalala ko yun no yeah this gets sabi yeah. sabi mo parang you mentioned gusto ko mabasa yung mga manga kaya gusto ko din talaga pa alam sa it is it is okay however so, that time mm-hmm. have, have, uh, sorry however that time my my sense of um learning the japanese language is not that strong Mm-hmm. It's like uh, it's like when you're like if you're a K-pop fan, you just love to hear the song, mm-hmm. the idols, but y- you don't even understand the language. So mm-hmm. parang ganon yung feeling ko with the J-pop music. So mm-hmm. sabi ko parang iba yung iba yung happiness na nadadala ng J-pop. It's like a happy pill. Yeah. So that's why. That's the reason why I'm so fascinated with Japan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So, ang ganda nung ang ganda nung naging journey kasi ang dami niyang pinagdaanan. <laughs> Hindi lang siya nag-focus sa isa. So, uh, Miss Crystal started uh, sa anime uh, through the influence of her high school friends. So, actually high school pa lang. Uh, she has this interest na no, na okay, Japan. And then after anime, oh, okay, she loves to read manga naman. And then uh, from manga naging J-pop So, syempre, parang somehow exposed ka na no, sa uh, Japan culture and and you have that interest na eh, na parang okay. And curiosity, aside from interest, parang you are curious also. Yeah. Bang meron sa Japan, bakit ganito, bakit ganyan? So, ano yung nagpa-motivate sa'yo? Why, okay, one day, I want na to learn the language, I want to study in Japan, and I, I want to um, achieve a higher Japanese level. So, ano yung nagpa-motivate sa'yo? Okay, that's a nice question. Ayun. <laughs> so, um, actually, um, I was a graduate of tourism management. Mm. Ayun. So, of course, we had foreign language. And then, foreign language namin is French, Spanish, and um, Japanese. Ayun. Mm. However, the Japanese, the Japanese language that I've learned that time is not that intensive pa. So, parang just for the sake of semester. Parang ganun pa siya. <laughs> so, um, yun talagang naging ano ko, Spanish and Japanese. Yung pinaka-best kung gustong aralin talaga na foreign language. And then, um, nagpa-motivate sa akin probably, yun yung start, yun yung starting point is because of that. And then, yun, as, as mentioned by Miss Alpha is, yun nga, parang gusto ka talagang ma mabasa yung oh, manga mabasa. in a, in Japanese in Japanese mm-hmm. ha? kasi of course 
iba pa rin yung na-translate na eh. Pero usually kasi yung na-translate na yung na- na- babasa kong manga eh. Pero, of course, I really want na talagang try natin. Try natin lang na mabasa. Kasi iba, iba pa rin yung may skill ka of other languages. Mm-hmm. Yun din yung isang ano ko, isang reason ko. Iba kasi yung may skill na alam mo, mm-hmm. nakaka-intindi ka ng ibang lingwahe. Na alam mo yan, of course, English is our second language. But iba pa rin yung meron. Ay! You can speak. You can you can understand. Yan. Isa yun. Isa yung mga ano, nag-motivate sa akin. Yan. And most especially, you're a tourism graduate. So definitely, you can really use um, yung another language. So it's really nice if you're mm-hmm. a multilingual. I mean, aside from um, Tagalog or Filipino and also English, na normally naman as Filipinos, we know how to speak uh, English as well. Eh. So kung marunong ka pa ng another language, talagang, um, talagang bongga na. Yes, it is, it is. Talagang ano siya, important din talaga siya, Ms. Bernadette, di ba? If, if someone is um, like... Uh, yun nga na mention mo curiosity is very very important mm-hmm. like, living in others uh, countries culture then so that will also help them mo- be motivated and be um, ready then dun sa talagang uh, para kung goal nila mag study sa Japan di ba or um, for work or yun mm-hmm. and and yun din yung Mm-hmm. Yung, uh, di ba, Alpha, like, we, whenever we assess an applicant, um, we ask for their goals or dreams. Yeah. Um, ano yung plans nila after they finish the program, why they want to study, why they want to learn. Kasi we want our students also na maging sure dun yeah. sa parang uh, papasokin nila na journey or uh, parang uh, program, no? Because, of course, hindi madali yung magiging process. So, definitely, they need to be sure and they need to, to be ready, no? So, kailangan ngan talaga okay and yun yung ginagawa rin ni Jellyfish we want to um, help the students na talagang ma-realize nila kung ano yung gusto nilang mangyari this is really ito. for them kasi very important na talagang yes. interest ka so syempre yung dreams is important then in like but uh, Miss Crystal said no gusto niya maintindihan like, like simple uh, motivation that ayun, naging into manifestation, naging reality na siya sa kanya. At ngayon, nandun na siya sa Japan and working. So, yun. Miss Crystal, can you share, like, yung parang first, ano mo, like, um, first experiences mo from the start na nag-apply ka sa Jellyfish? Yun. Can you share something lang yung from the start? Right. Kasi, I, I think first time, first, time, <laughs> first time ato, first time ato, how Jellyfish, Crystal, um, Jellyfish, how Jellyfish <laughs> helps you na mas maging, <laughs> ano pa, confident, like from the start nag-sign ka ng contract nag-bayad ka and then nag-aral ka nag-take ka ng Nihongo class so yun alright okay so medyo I think it will be a long story but okay I'll, I'll, uh, it's a nice uh, it's a nice story lang. though actually <laughs> summarize ito, na lang <laughs> yeah Actually, the funny thing is, I really don't know about jellyfish. I mean, kahit sa internet or something. Really? It didn't. It didn't. And maybe, I, I just believe it. Maybe it's a destiny na nakita ko yung tarpaulin ng caravan nyo sa mall. One of the malls in Batangas. I was like, oh, Japan, what's this? I was like, that. And then, parang, alam mo yun, study. So... Though, of course, there are other... May narinig na din naman kasi ako na mga study other in other countries. Like, mm-hmm. yes, Canada. And, and, but it never really strikes me. And then, yung nag-strike talaga sa akin is yung... Walang spark. Japan, yung iba. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Miss Bernadette. I was like, okay, sige, try nga natin. Ayun. And then, mm-hmm. it just happened. Ayun, just to make it story short, ayun, na-meet ko si Miss Alpha. And then, as Miss Alpha said earlier, yun, ako yung last. <laughs> and then, dami kong questions sa kanya from what I remember. <laughs> ayun, and then, um, so what happened na is, yeah, nagpunta na din ako ng main office. Of course, in Ortiga. Ay, Ortiga, am I right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, then I talked to Miss Alpha about um, such, yung mga like the schools, and then, Uh, magkano yung mga magagastos and then what uh, what are will be the application the process how it how it goes ganyan so um actually i from what i remember so nag inquire ako kay miss alpha and then actually i consulted my family too so in that time okay just to a little bit personal um that time 
I'm, I'm having, I, I came from a bad breakup. Ayan. So, oh. <laughs> a bad breakup. Yeah. Ayoko na, so I don't want to mention it anymore. But yun yung naging, ano din, reason kung bakit din. I want to pursue. I want to have a new life. Mm. I want to, you know, do the but things that I want to do. Like this one, studying in Japan. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, yun. Um, a good thing my family as well as my uncle in Australia would like to support me talaga dito sa study in Japan kasi parang they want me to have a new life ganyan so sige I'll, I'll try though um to be honest to, to to the two of you nagtataka din si na ate noon yung dalawang two, two eldest sister they were like bakit bakit Japan bakit Japan <laughs> and they Kasi at bunso, they are really parang nag-aalala para sa akin. Kasi medyo malaki yung age gap namin ni Ats. Parang may dalawang mom din, ganyan. So, oh, oh, oh. nag-aalala sila. Nag-aalala sila sa akin. Mm-hmm. Bakit sa panin? In, I mean, hindi yung English-speaking country, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Baka, uh, okay, okay lang ba ganyan? So, however, nag, talaga nag-stand firm ako sa kanila na, no, I want to do this. Gusto kong, gusto kong pumunta dito. Gusto ko ang Japan, ganyan. And then, when when they see me now, they were like, they were so proud of, proud of me actually. So, I was happy <laughs> naman kasi, alam mo, may napatunayan na daw sa mga kapatid ko, ganyan. And I was really happy, yun. And then, and so what I what I go through, babalik tayo. So yon, I go to Miss Alpha. I, I ask for the for the school, yon mga partner schools. So um um I ask Miss Alpha sa mga schools then mga suggested school. Actually, my first um choice will be in Katsigi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. Ms. Yes. Alpha, yeah. Kasi because of the HR program. And, yeah, no? Tama. Kasi you're yes. all teacher yeah. and yes, I remember. Mm-hmm. And then, to be honest with you, Miss Bernadette, um, Kyoto is not my first First choice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Tokyo it is. Tokyo, Tokyo. it is. <laughs> yes. And then, Tokyo. So, why naging and then Kyoto? what happened? <laughs> why naging Kyoto, yeah. Kasi, um, yung uh, the way nag <laughs> ano nag nag ask ako kay Miss Alpha sa pre consultant ko siya eh. so I, I was asking ganyan I think there will be like kind of kasi gusto ko nang pumunta ng around April mm-hmm. alam mo yun, I was really eager to go in April and then Miss Alpha did mention to me na parang mag open pa si Tochigi ng I think October am I right Miss Alpha right October pa. I parang na-move. Sure. Parang na-move Baka yung na-move. opening. I mean, <laughs> Oo, na-move. Oh, parang na-move. Sa that time. During this open sila. And Kyoto is also mm-hmm. uh, open ng April batch. I, I don't know. Yeah. But I think that's another. <laughs> Depend maybe the slot. Oh, okay, yes, okay. Sure. Kasi from, sometimes yes, that's not the possible. Baka, baka I think um, puno uh, na yung slots or uh, uh, they get I, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ayun. So what happen is yun nga parang and then the second choice na naging open naman ako dun sa naging um mm-hmm. suggestion ni Miss Al na Kyoto as mm-hmm. okay, okay then I, I see the pamphlet of mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so I saw the pamphlet of Kyoto Mintai I was like oh this is so nice mm-hmm. oh, parang yeah. the, mm-hmm. it's super ano um talagang medyo na ano talaga ako na intrigue I mean mm-hmm. na ano talaga ako dun sa sa pamphlet ni ng school and mm-hmm. then ayon so and then I decided I talked to my um to my uncle to my yung mga mga sponsor sa akin my sister ganyan my family and then yun and then we started to do the documentation and ganyan mm-hmm. so and then nag ano din ako ng um uh, basic Japanese first with the jellyfish ayan and then mm-hmm. tuloy tuloy na tuloy tuloy na ayan. okay and actually yes. that's one <laughs> of the struggles of our applicants kasi um most of our applicants they are very interested uh, to enroll um they want to start their application as soon as possible but of course one of the requirements is to look for a guarantor or sponsor and uh, there must be someone who uh, who is willing to parang financially support the student and uh, someone who can provide requirements then for the application ng COE. So, 
paano yung naging um, parang process mo in telling your your parents or your possible guarantor? Kasi dun yung minsan difficult part um, to inform your yeah. parents no, about your plans mm-hmm. or goals. And of course, kailangan ng help nila talaga financially and sa requirements. Uh, yeah. So, mm-hmm. ano yung naging uh, parang process or situation mo nung time na yun? Actually, I was just so blessed lang din na yung mm-hmm. uh, uncle ko. Uncle mo. In, in, yeah, very in supportive. Israel, yeah. yeah, very supportive. Kasi gusto nila nga na magkameron ako na. Mm-hmm. Matulungan ka dun sa the requirements na kailangan natin no, para we can successfully process you. <laughs> Yo. Mhm. So, the nag-hang si Miss Crystal. <laughs> yes. Ayun, medyo nag-hang. So, yun yung importante rin kasi yung support na manggagaling from your family. Um support na manggagaling from your sponsor. Yeah. So, kailangan talaga um there should be someone na talagang um tutulong sa iyo maniniwala ka sa iyo at uh, magsusuport sa iyo so important remember yeah. kasi noon like um nagstruggle din talaga siya sa when it comes to sa sponsors documents niya eh. kasi parang we keep on making follow up din sa uncle niya no, para mabuno yung uh, required show money amount ni ano ni student and i think most of our students naman uh, nagkakaroon talaga ng mga challenges along the way no i mean during the documentation process so i i think nagkaroon lang ng problem with miss crystal's internet connection so mm-hmm. while waiting no so tayo muna yung magkakaroon ng konting chikahan <laughs> about the um application about the study in japan pero um ayun so far al for sure you've encountered a lot of applicants na so syempre iba-iba yung uh, type of applicant no so mm-hmm. ano so far yung parang um, fulfilling na part sa yo na syempre bilang consultant you're mm-hmm. assessing uh, them you're assisting them helping them all throughout the application process Yes, it's for another. And, ah, diba, and like, uh, mm-hmm. syempre talagang gusto natin na maging successful sila after. So, ano yung talagang fulfilling na part sa'yo bilang diba, consultant? Like, uh, we're consultants, Miss Bernadette, diba? That's uh, one of our reward. I mean, rewarding sa atin na like Miss Crystal, we're able to help her na ma-achieve yung goal niya talaga doon na from the start na like nag-iisip lang siya nung how she can go to Japan and na-inspire na siya na mag and then nag-decide siya and right now nandun pa rin siya no yung success nandun pa rin so which is very for- fulfilling for me na um mm-hmm. still, nag ano pa rin siya nag um uh next stay pa rin siya doon sa Japan and yeah mm-hmm. looking forward na mas maging maganda yung magiging future niya doon Yeah. Yes, very fulfilling talaga yung ganung uh, mga moments no na whenever nakikita natin yung students natin na uh, they finish the program and then they were able to work na after and ang maganda doon they are referring applicants to us pa so ibig sabihin they were very satisfied with our services and they want to introduce jellyfish to a lot of people pa to their friends or other family members na gusto ring mag-study ng language or gustong mag-aral sa Japan so talagang uh, nakakatuwa yung mga ganun na, uh, na mga students rin no and of course jellyfish is just here and we are very yes. happy no uh, we are always happy sa mga students natin na nakakapag-work and na-achieve yung dreams nila kasi yun naman talaga yung uh, one of our objectives no yes okay so nasa na si Miss Crystal <laughs> yeah, I actually ayan okay na wait lang yes ayan So, ganun talaga pag nasa Japan, tapos nasa Philippines. So, medyo nagkakaroon ng ano, technical problem. Ayan. Hello, Miss so, Crystal. Ayan. Hello. <laughs> Very commercial. Hello. Very commercial <laughs> tayo. So, ayan. Anyway, Miss Crystal, thank you so much again, no, doon sa mga nasabi mo kanina na information and also yung mga na-share mo. So, since, ayun, kasi meron lang tayong short segment lang tayo, which is a fast talk, no? Mabilis lang naman. Yes, okay. Alright. We just 
just want you to know more. Like, yan nga. Mm-hmm. It's very helpful na nagbigay ka sa amin ng um, information din. So, I hope yung mga viewers natin naging knowledgeable sa kanila tong Genitox natin na episode. And we're really happy. Anyway, so start na tayo. Ako na lang yung magtatanong, no? Yes, Ask go Alpha. Ask naman to. <laughs> so, ayun. Anyway, yung mga questions ko lang naman is, uh, mabilis lang naman, Miss um, Crystal Wintland. Sabi yung mga que- questions ko. Okay. Uh, familiar ka naman sa fast talk, no? Yeah. <laughs> Pagpoy <laughs> abunda. Pagpoy abunda lang talaga. Ayan. Okay. Yung first is um, beach or park? Beach. Beach. Uh, peso or yen? <laughs> yen. <laughs> yen. Okay. Yes, yen. Sinang or sushi? Uh, this is a hard question. Both. <laughs> Ma, hindi, isa lang. <laughs> isa lang ba? Pwede both. Um, ah, sige, both. Pwede 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 both. Train or bike? Bike. Okay. Bike. I don't like delays. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yes. nag train Ah, nag-bike. Ah, ah, mas madelayed ba pag, ano, train? <laughs> mm, it depends. Pag, Pe- minsan kasi nadidelay. Kasi may pila, no? <laughs> Oo, no? So, pag nagbabay ka, diretso ka na. Okay, next is Mount Fuji hiking or strawberry picking? Strawberry picking. Wow, mm. so cute. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> okay, last. Cosplay or festival? Festival. Okay. Oh, festival. Thank you, Ms. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. So, so anyway. based on her choices, parang mas maki-Japan, no? Yes. Oo nga. Oo. Talaga yung influence ng Japan nandun na. Kasi si Miss uh-huh. Crystal, I mean, you're in Japan for how many years na? Kasi since 2019, no? Until mm-hmm. now. It's already four years. Sorry, four years. Four years. So, talagang mm-hmm. na-adopt na rin somehow yung uh, uh, Japanese yes. culture. <laughs> and talagang yung interest natin na sa Japan na. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, thank yeah. you, Miss Crystal, okay. for uh, okay. the fast talk segment yes. no? uh, okay. sa pag-answer ng mga choices. So, we will continue yung ating Q&A. So, para okay. at our viewers... <laughs> Still, uh, of course, get uh, important information about the program and about the mm-hmm. uh, study in Japan. So, anyway, since uh, we already tackled you, uh, um how you started and what uh, made you interested and uh, why you got curious and paano yung naging uh, somehow um, pag-apply natin, no? Or paano nalaman si Jellyfish or naging application sa Jellyfish. Pero uh, since you applied through an agency, I mean, our company, Jellyfish Philippines, and sabi nga ni Alpha, um, she was able to meet you sa isang event sa mall and uh, you inquired, you asked questions. But as a student, I mean, uh, when when you applied in the Philippines muna, mm-hmm. ano yung na-encounter mo ng mga pa Problem. A lot of patience and understanding. Mm-hmm. And like yeah. what I've said earlier, you need to be ready in all aspects, most mm-hmm. special financially. So, any yung mga struggles or challenges mm-hmm. that, that you've encountered um, during your application? All right. So, during the application, naman, um, most probably because of the documentation that I'm going to get is nasa different countries then, like mm-hmm. Australia and New Zealand. So, ngayon, in documentation process somehow, kasi time difference ba? I have to consider the time difference of my uncle, my sister too, you know, sa pagbibigay ng ano. And then, of course, in duration eh. I know, yes. good thing, Miss Alpha did actually support <laughs> me about the timeline. Kasi yung timeline talaga to get the CEO. Alam mo So, and then it's going to be, alam mo yung enrollment na, alam mo yung going to uh, around April. Sobrang ano din. But then, I'm still thankful kasi, as well, yeah, especially to Miss Alpha kasi nga yung support naman niya to follow up, do the follow up. Ayan. So, ayan naman. So, yun yung mga you, most of the, the, you, the uh, documentation, uh, yung mga tapel talaga. Yes. Yeah. Can you give advice, Miss Crystal, sa mga ano natin, future applicants din natin? 
uh, for, for the I process. To, uh, uh, what can right. you advice so para to pursue them dreams then yeah i, I think yes. uh, okay. just talking about yeah. the process yes mm-hmm. the process okay so i think patience is lang talaga and then mm-hmm. if you really if you really really want it so ayun make it to the point to you know had the deadline to meet mm-hmm. the deadline or before the deadline yun so and then never hesitate to you know um ask your consultant kung ano pa yung mga kailangan kasi you don't want to miss anything mm-hmm. yun naman yung mahalaga kasi kasi once na mapasa na yan sa immigration or embassy it would it should be complete so you need to really check everything so much better nga if you had the checklist nga for the documentation eh you really need to have that ano pa ba yung mga kulang ganyan so you really have to be ready on those things and then yun nga always check and then kung nagfo-follow up man yung consultant mo just have a, a good relationship yes. dun sa follow up na yun kasi you won't miss anything actually yun yes and ang kailangan lang talaga sa mga students ay cooperation then uh, you just need to comply mm-hmm. with everything that we need for the application kasi definitely mm-hmm. we will assist you naman from step 1 up to the last step and we will inform you um all the details that you need to know the requirement yeah. application process the fees the timeline no kasi um syempre yun yung mga important thing kailangan malaman no um before during uh before and during the application so you just need mm-hmm. to trust us you just need to cooperate and mm-hmm. comply with everything so we are actually grateful also to miss crystal because i believe yes. naging cooperative talaga siya uh, during her application nung uh, time nung april yes. batch na nag-apply siya no? so yun and, and um since yun yung naging processor journey Miss Crystal. Siyempre, ah, okay, we we collected your requirements. Yun yung medyo crucial na part eh, kasi talaga yes, it it's matagal na process. Plus you've mentioned mm-hmm. that your sponsor um I think he's staying uh, in another country. So medyo difficult to to contact uh, your uncle yes, and siyempre, we need to, to to check the the requirements pa mm-hmm. like uh, two uh, emails lang muna kasi scan copies muna no. But Um, ibalik natin yung time when you uh, heard about the COE result. Um, because I believe Alpha informed you about the result yes. for uh, the, the April school year. I think that was around February. Mm-hmm. Kasi every April, lumalabas usually February, month of February. Mm-hmm. So, um, April 2019, I think you got the result February 2019, a few months yes. before the school year. So, ano yung naging pakiramdam mo um, when you heard na, okay, congratulations, you got COE for oh, April 2019. Yes. We can apply mm-hmm. you uh, for a student visa. Uh, ano yung naging pakiramdam mo during that time? Yeah, since you mentioned Miss Bernadette that it was mm. February, buti naalala ko na lang ulit. February is my birth month. Okay, um, so ayun, um, earlier we asked Miss Crystal about dun sa naging uh, reaction niya or feeling when he when she heard that uh, she got COE for April 2019. So, Miss Crystal? Uh, yeah, so, yun nga, as I said, February is my birth month. So, it's like a birthday, mm-hmm. advanced birthday gift. And I was really yes. happy talaga kasi parang yun na yung start of my journey in Japan. Ayun. So, ang ganda kasi birthday gift plus um, Valentine's uh, Day pa ng 14. So, talaga Ayan. araw ng puso at araw ng uh, kabuhay. Mm. <laughs> so, talagang blessing and uh, yes. the best yes. gift ever. Okay. So, since you got COE na, so, syempre, nagdire-diretsyo na. We applied na for your student visa and then, Uh, of course, you departed na, no, for Japan. And then, doon na nag-start yung uh, journey mo as a student, no. So, ano yung pinaka-unforgettable or favorite experience mo sa whole duration mo ng pag-aaral nung nasa Japan ka as a student? As a, as a student life, ang dami actually. Like, for example, yung nag-part-time ako, yung mga experiences ko. And then, the school itself, actually. Yung mm-hmm. pagiging student, yung having a student life. Uh, and... Maraming nang sasabi, ang sarap maging bumalik sa pagiging estudyante. Pagiging student. Student. <laughs> <laughs> mahirap. Mahirap. Masaya. <laughs> yes, mahirap pero masaya kasi you have to 
had the time management din sa lahat. Ayun. So, you know, my teachers are so nice. Yung even the um the staff din ng school is really supportive in everything like for the school dorm ganyan. And then yung mga classmates ko din kasi iba-iba kaming lahi. Alam mo yun, yes. I, I did make friends na marami. Ayun, yun, from Indonesian, Russian, um uh, Malaysian, yun mga ne- Nepalese, yun. So Um, I had made so many friends and then yung mga school trips din namin as well as yung mga extracurricular activities like um, tea ceremony, yung mga ganun. So, ikabana, alam mo yung flower <laughs> arrangement. Yes. Even doing the origami class with my teacher was so nice too. Ayun. <laughs> so, definitely you enjoyed everything um, as It a is. student. <laughs> part timer I mean uh, everything yes. was unforgettable uh, uh. <laughs> I mean you cannot <laughs> enjoyable talaga <laughs> enjoyable talaga di ba Ms. Bernadette so, yes and it, it's yeah. really mm-hmm. nice to hear that you really had fun mm-hmm. and you enjoyed your journey as a student and uh, syempre as a student ang goal natin is to to work after no after yes. the program and congratulations Miss Crystal because you thank got a job you. <laughs> thank actually, you actually lahat ng mga applicants natin yun talaga yung iniim to, to work in mm-hmm. Japan to stay there for a long time and you're one of the successful students um, who got a job so can you tell us uh, the story paano ka nagkaroon ng job paano ka nag-apply um, ka yes okay so actually um for my job journey naman, job hunting journey. That time kasi, um, school was asking me na kung ano yung bala ko. And then, nag-try lang din kasi muna ako like mini tutorial ng student days ko din. So, <laughs> and then, um, fortunately, it became my calling na maging mag-teach <laughs> ng English here. So, iba. Kasi, of course, um Japanese is a foreign language learner. So, iba. Kung baga parang it became my calling. And then, yun. I just uh search for the internet. Kung ano yung mga uh, possible na work. Ganyan. And then, um suddenly, I got a job. And that was, I was been assigned to Miyagi Prefecture. So, I have to move in Miyagi Prefecture. Then, I told school na, ayun, I'm going to teach English in the public schools. Yeah, so as an assistant language teacher. Ayun, and then um it was they supported me. Okay, then you got had the certificate of completion ganyan, para sort of a, a mini graduation na then for me ganyan. So, um ayun, and then I started to ano na then to um uh move then sa ano. And then that's the start of my work. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then And then, thankfully naman, yung dispatch company ko naman that time did support me on the um change of visa from student to working. Ayun. So, thankfully. And then, okay. yan, tuloy-tuloy na siya. That's <laughs> to hear. So, Miss Crystal, I mean, um, do you think, mm-hmm. like, so overall experience mo from being an applicant and then you became mm-hmm. a student and then now you became a, uh, an employee in Japan? Mm-hmm. How was your experience? I mean, if you're going to compare or describe, how was the overall experience? It was really a life ano, changing experience. A life changing yeah. breakthrough. Oh, oh. <laughs> a breakthrough <laughs> indeed. <laughs> kasi, <laughs> mm. oo, kasi ang dami kong natutunan okay. from like moving. How, how will I move? Ganyan. Paano magiging buhay ko? So from... Kyoto City to a countryside in Miyagi. So, ang dami. And then, balik ulit ako dito sa city life, busy life ng Osaka, ganyan. Ang dami. So, from the moving, paghanap ko ng apartment, alam mo yun, from register, kasi kailangan ko lagi, if, uh, in every lipat ko, kailangan ko talaga mag-register lagi sa municipal hall. So, ganyan. But, indeed, um, yung pag-study ko ng Japanese did really help me kasi like you know pag-writing ng kanji everything is in Japanese so even yung basic na pagsasalita mo with the stuff it did help me so alam mo yun I'm so happy lang din dun sa life skill ko na having you know um a Japanese language then ganyan so Lahat. Kumbaga, parang na-embrace ko yung life ko dito culture, sa Japan yeah. all and all. Yeah. Oh, kasi hindi Not lang... only the culture. 
Hindi ka naman yeah. nalili din talaga mag-adjust in other countries. So, that's yes, exactly. you know, help of our program, di ba, Ms. Bernadette? So, and definitely, there will be a, a time or a moment where in, parang you want to give up na and you want to <laughs> do ba Actually, Para, diba? yes. Sure, oh, oh, you've experienced oh, oh. that, Miss Christina. I did, I oh. did. <laughs> oh, oh. Why, oh. why am I doing this? I want to go home now. I want to go home now. I want to go home now. Siguro na pag, ano nyo, na pag-isip. Diba? Pero, oh, ano eh, oh. test in kayo dyan, ma'am. So, we're happy. Yes. Uh, yeah, partner ko, life partner ko si Japan. <laughs> wow. Ayun, <laughs> Ayun, yeah. Continuous yeah. na lang, magiging permanent, ano ka na lang. <laughs> Oh, I think it's God's will. It's God's will. We'll yeah, we'll do this. for sure yes. in the future. Well, anyway, um, thank you so much, uh, for sharing your stories, uh, for uh giving us, um, yung mga important details, no, that we can also share to our uh, viewers or mga interested pa, mga aspiring applicants, no. But what uh can you share or um what? or um, parang some words of encouragement that you can uh, share to our viewers or some mga applicants who are also um, interested to learn the language, who are also aiming to study in Japan. Ano yung masasabi mo sa kanya uh, or sa kanila, Miss First? Hmm. Alright, so first things first, you need to have to pick the interest in mm. the language itself. Not only the language itself, but the Japan itself. Kasi once you go here, the, there will be also like the expectation versus reality okay. when you become a student life. So with that, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm going to advise to you is embrace it. Kasi merong mga changes na hindi mo maa-accept agad. Eh. It's not the mm-hmm. acceptance. It, you just have to embrace that change. Yun yun. Kasi yun yung first step for you to really stay here for so long. Yun yun. Mag-embrace ka ng lahat. Even the people, oh, yes. even the place, even the culture itself. Alam mo yun. So, darating pa rin yung differences eh. Yung magiging conflict dun eh. Pero, you have to embrace everything. And then, also, never take for granted each day. Mm-hmm. Yun. Kasi, once kasi nandito ka na, alam mo yun, minsan may lifestyle na will be easy for you. But then, eventually, babalik ka ulit sa reality na uh, never take things for granted. Kasi ikaw yung maiiwanan, ikaw yung mapapaghulihan once you take for granted. Alam mo yun? So, yes. you have to, yes. Sinasabi ng Japanese lagi gamb- gambaro. Alam mo yun? Yung lagi ka talagang you will do your best always. So, I think na-apply ko na din yun in my everyday life na kailangan kong Adjusted mag... Talaga. Yes, mm-hmm. I have Adjusted to do my best Adjusted always Adjusted here. Culture. Yes. Na hindi ganun mm-hmm. ka. Kasi, mm-hmm. Yes, kasi lahat dito ginagawa nila by their own. Kung baga, mm-hmm. walang hindi, hindi kailangan ng assist. Basta kung kaya mo, gawin mo yan. Ay, adun, mm-hmm. Yun yung one thing that I I like about them. Kasi, eh, oh nga naman, why not? Kung kaya mo naman, why not? Gawin mo. Alam mo yun. Wala kang excuse. <laughs> Para hindi oh, magawa isang bagay. Exactly. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. And eventually, surprisingly, you will be amazed na, ah, magagawa ko pala yun. Ay, alam mo yun. Yung that, that mindset, though. And also, um, ano pa ba? Ayun. Um, just move. Ayun. One, one word that I can give is move. Kasi dito, you have to move in everything. Alam mo mm-hmm. yun? The, the time is really fast. Yung sinasabi nga nila na, ang dami mo kasing ginagawa, mabilis yung oras. Totoo yun. Dito. Yes. Yun. So, you have to move. Talaga. You everything. You need to keep going. <laughs> keep going. Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh. Yes. Yun. So, even though you feel like giving up, you have to move. Alam mo yun, you have to move. But uh, it's okay to take a pause naman. Kasi, uh, I mean, um, my pause is like, I'm going to different places. I'm exploring mm. Japan. Yun yung pause ko. But still, you have to move pa rin. Move and Changes move. Changes pa yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Very important. Like, your own country, ba, yung country sa Japan talaga is, ano, 
uh, advanced kasi sila no yung future then <laughs> pumunta ka sa kanila the technology everything is in advance so parang yes like, and and, and everyone speaker. is uh, <laughs> everyone is busy everyone is minding their own business so you need to keep you need to keep going yes, or else may iwan mm, ka yeah. <laughs> di ba wala or, mangyayari so yes, you really yes. need to to uh, move forward yes. hindi pwedeng bumalik you need to move forward. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So much so, well, anyway, mm-hmm. ako mismo, I learned a lot from Miss Crystal. Okay. And and it's nice Thank to you. hear um, stories from uh, our students. Um, One of our students, Miss Crystal. So, ako, I'm very grateful that I had this chance to um ask questions right. no, uh, to ask Miss Crystal and to yes. uh, hear ko ano yung mga naging journey niya sa Japan and uh, thank you thank you Miss Crystal for thank your time thank you Miss Bernard and Miss Alpine looking forward na makapag-usap pa ulit tayo soon yes definitely in <laughs> the next yes. podcast ma'am no Ayan. Oo, mali na natin. Ma-invite mag- ulit natin. Uh, Mag-guess ka ulit. Another topic naman tayo. Yes, anyway, ibang topic okay. naman. Well, anyway, uh, thank you, Miss Crystal, for your time. Thank Learned you so much. And uh, yes. please take care. Stay healthy. And uh, looking forward for Likewise. your Likewise. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Crystal. Thank you so much, Miss Crystal. And yes. also, thank you, Miss Bernard, Miss Alpha. Yes. Yes, no our viewers this afternoon, po. So, we would like to invite you for our next podcast. Maybe next yes, week. Yes, and, <laughs> and before we invite our viewers uh, to our next podcast, we would also like to promote our our programs, uh, our yes. programs and services, no? Jellyfish Philippines. Uh, or Jellyfish Education Philippines are offering different programs, offering educational services uh, like the study in Japan. We have long-term and short-term. Okay. And also, we have Nihongo classes here okay. in the Philippines. So for those who would like to learn Japanese language here in the Philippines and in Japan, feel free to inquire. Feel free to follow our uh, social media accounts. We've been posting uh, announcements and details uh, so Facebook page, namin, yes. sa Instagram, YouTube. We also have a TikTok account because it's a good thing TikTok. So um, you can inquire, ask questions. Um, so you'll get the important details about the program, and our consultants will assist you, uh, and answer all your questions. No, so looking forward, na marami pang yes. Filipino na makapag enroll, mm-hmm. makapag join ng program, and makapag aral sa Japan, and eventually makapag work after kagaya ni Miss Crystal Ramos. So um yes, Alpha. So ayun po, thank you so much again Miss Bernadette and Miss Crystal for your time for our episode yes. this uh Jelly Talks and we would like to invite our viewers for the next episode. And, and yun nga as Miss Bernadette mentioned, no, uh, we're really excited for those uh hope uh, hoping viewers then na gustong mag-apply for study in Japan. So looking forward, like with uh, what uh, Miss Crystal said, you have to it'll be inspired and pursue your dreams then to study in Japan. So I like our, our topic. Yes. So sa mga viewers natin dyan from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, feel free to inquire, feel free to enroll. Um, We will be very happy to assist you. So again, enroll now and Jellyfish Education Philippines will help you. Thank, you so, Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. And see you yeah. next. Have a great day. To episode. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Thank you. Thank you.